Boobies. We're here tonight at Bloemendal. Um, we are raising funds for our charity. What we do is provide free screenings for women in um, previously disadvantaged areas of South Africa um, for breast cancer and then refer them on if they need to be referred. Um, a lot of what we sell are socks. Um, they're 150 rand a pair or you can go onto our website alaboobies.co.za and purchase a pair. Every five pairs that we sell enables one woman in South Africa to get a free breast cancer screening. Come on over there, let's give them a welcome to me. Thank you for joining us. So up to the corner, we come down the flow trail. Go do the A line or B line. The B line is easy, don't be scared about it. If you want to do the A line, do the A line, okay? And then from there, home run. But please follow these guys in front of you, don't pass them. Which one is called Plutch here? <laughs> Tommy, well, Tommy, do you want to tell them how many titles you have won in your lifetime? Well, exactly, I don't know. But for Spanish championships, I have 14. 14. Uh, two European championships, uh, I think three world championships, and some world cups also. Tell you guys, Tommy was my hero when I was 16. And he, <laughs> when I was 16, and he was winning already downhill World Cup. So we were really looking for a, for a charity, and uh, I know Nikki for a long, long time, and uh, also we decided uh, to choose uh, I Love Boobies because uh, also my mom uh, she died of uh, breast uh, cancer. It's very, very important to give uh, a woman the chance who doesn't have the money to have a screening before the time and uh, to support these guys. Yeah, very, very important. And that's why we're writing for other boobies. Very lucky boobies. All the money they raise, we will be spending on the route which the Cape Absa Epic follow during the course of the, ra of the race will be going to the communities where the folk are mostly overlooked and we will be uh, educating, creating awareness specifically for female breast cancer. Now last year you rode with the big competitor, Christoph Sauser. He had an absolute ball, they came 22nd overall having fun. So they beat lots of the professionals. This year is it going to be a top 20 position? Tommy, top 10, eh? <laughs> no, we, we won't plan before the time. We don't know the plan before. Uh, we just try to have fun and do all the best as we can. But we spoke uh, sometimes with, with Carl that when you are professional and you have the experience that we have right now, both, it's more easy maybe to come back and ser professional again, you know? Because we take the, the things and maybe prepare different, you know, affront the situations or the races different with all this experience. And that's, uh, I think, it's, uh, it's why 
with our age, we enjoy it and have uh, good results too. Hey guys, thank you very much. It was a uh, really a great, uh, great pleasure to be here and ride with you guys. Keep the spirit. Uh, stay on the mountain bike, don't crash, and uh, all the best. Uh, so you made me jealous because uh, now I'm coming back again. Well, what a tremendous evening. Thank you to everybody who's come out here tonight.